Now, this could sound a little unpleasant, but bear with me. I guarantee it'll be worth the effort. A rare and mysterious disease, one you really have to see to believe. The victims end up in a terrible state. Their skin just literally falls off. It's incurable and almost always fatal. So you may well wonder, how do they cope? Well, with all the youngsters you're about to meet, it's guts. Guts and an endearing larrikin streak, a wicked sense of humour that keeps them going, helps them live life to the full. You're about to meet three remarkable young men. All of them possessed of a larrikin sense of humour, all of them suffering an affliction no one should have to be. Come on over. There's Connor Fitzpatrick, the youngest of the bunch. Dean Clifford, the fiercest Bronco supporter you'll ever meet. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh. And Johnny Kennedy, an Englishman with a surprising knack for surprising people. Uh. Here in Australia, this cruel disease afflicts the lives of hundreds of people. Dean Clifford is one of them. Keep the gut in that sore and I'm like, ow. <laughs> These are some of the toughest competitors in the world, yet their bruising battles on the field inflict less injury than Dean can suffer in a day. Still on out, out wide. You've got the scientists <laughs> scratching their heads, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, I think so, yeah. Statistically, you should have died as a child. Yeah. I had a life expectancy, well, mum and dad were told when I, after I was born that two and a half, maybe five at the most. Um, so, yeah, it's sort of five times that now and kicking on. <laughs> so we should have three cheers for Dino. Hip! Hooray! Hip! Hooray! Hip! Hooray! Hip! Hooray! Hip! Hooray! 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 It was because he felt so inspired by them. Now it's the other way around. Apparently the best, mate. <laughs> I don't do things by halves. You should know that. We think our world's come to an end if we, if we have a bad game. And you look at someone like Dean who, who fights this battle day in, day out, um, I think it's very sobering for us. And, and for me personally, knowing him, you know, it, it adds a little balance to my life as well to know someone who has such a... Um, a battle to fight, you know, each and every day. I'm your role model now, man. Oh, <laughs> I can't close my eyelids and don't have any eyelids as such. It's almost like your skin is like tissue paper. Yeah, that's probably the easiest way that I describe it. When I was younger, there was no skin on my face. Um, like, never been able to remember breathing through my nose. So, in 96, the actual skin raw sores healed over then and it, I've been like this ever since. So what else are you putting in the bath instead? Anything? I'm now putting bleach in the bath. That's good. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Who gets this disease? Anyone can get the disease. Um, each of us carries about 10 different mistakes in our genes and we have no idea that we have those unless we happen to marry and have children with someone else who happens to have a mistake in the same gene. Uh, he has a real reluctance for writing. Professor Dede Morel is one of the world's foremost authorities on EB. He has pretty chronic infection most of the time. Today, six-year-old Connor Fitzpatrick is in for a checkup, and for once, the news is good. He is looking so good now. Mm. We knew you'd get a surprise. I know, I'm so happy, so happy. Though neither could have known it, Connor's parents, Michael and Bree, each carried the recessive EB gene. That's what you think. How could that happen? You know, something so rare. How could it happen to us? Okay. Okay, we'll just pour this in the top can we? Come on. In his six short years, Connor has known more discomfort and pain than most of us will experience in a lifetime. He's fed through a tube into his stomach, has sores all over his body, and can only breathe with the aid of a tracheostomy. You playing handball at school today? With Matthew? I know. Yeah. What is Connor's attitude? Why do I have to why? be like this? Yeah, why was why I born am, like why this? Why is Connor Connor? Gets upset with He the questions illusions. his own mortality as well. Mm. Uh, I'm going to die. And, and that's quite 
And I don't know so. where that comes from. That really upsets Because, you know, and it, it's at least once a day. Um, it's quite confronting, that, though, isn't it? For yeah, parents. I think. It's quite confronting to hear a six year old question their own mortality and to be so aware of what, what's going on. And what do you say? Mum and Dad know what to do. So this was before and then after this one. There is as yet no cure for this horrifying disease. But Dee Dee Morell and her colleagues here in Australia are part of a race to find the answers that could save Connor's life. Answers that could lie in the genes of EB sufferers. If we were successful for a little child like Connor, that could really turn his life around. You and I, if we have a sore, we know in a week or two it'll be better. If that could be the case with these children, they could enjoy a lot more normal existence. A cure could be less than a decade away, except that government funding is virtually non-existent, because this is the disease society would rather forget. I feel very sad when I hear about new babies being born. You know, I'd, I'd love to to have this disease die out with me because I know how full on it can be and how bad it can be. So, wouldn't wish it on anybody. Oh no! The Broncos have decided to award an ambassadorship to someone who we believe. Dean Clifford is also a champion. Our first ever ambassador. Uh, will be inaugurated. His name is Dean. Making the most of the life he's been given. A lesson in courage for us all. He's Dean Clifford, my mate, and that's probably the greatest thing I can say about him is I, I, I no longer see his disease. It doesn't worry me. It's, he's just the bloke that he is. Oh, i got to take the feet pressure off the legs. I class it as a mind game. Uh, me versus the disease, who's going to win. Uh, oh, you see it as a challenge. Yeah, so uh, I'm always going to win. So uh, it's always a case of pushing myself, even when I probably shouldn't, uh, because, yeah, I'm not going to let, let it stop me. 